Kapinski here has the Pride's number, and she's looking to do more damage. Last game, one for three with an RBI and a walk. The 1-1 one -one is sent into deep center field, but the Pride will put the squeeze on it, and that's out number two. Two outs, one on, and in up steps Corinne Badger. Badger finishing second in the CAA with 14 home runs last season. Takes a swing at the first pitch she, she sees, and that's deep to left field and gone. The Sea Wolf strike first with a two run homer in the opening frame. Call it the announcer's curse. But Corinne Badger etches another home run on the box. Now the Pride infield will come into the circle, have a conversation, try to settle the nerves early in this one. A lot of game to play. Following that, Homer up steps to the DH. Juliana Sanzone. Won one for three last game. And we'll take the first pitch down for a strike. Digging back into the left side box. Shows bunt here. Absale wheels and deal. She'll pull back. Ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Absell deals. Is fouled. Oh, no. Dipped over second base. And to put the squeeze on it to end the inning. So it seems the Sea Wolves put up two runs on two hits and strike first. In this opening frame, you're listening, you're watching Hofstra Pride Softball presented to you by Flow Sports. And welcome back to Bill Edwards Stadium here at Hofstra University. The Hofstra Pride taking on the Sea Wolves of Stony Brook, who struck first in this contest. A two-run homer coming from the bat of Corinne Badger. The Pride will now step in the box, try to get one back. In the circle for the Sea Wolves is Gabrielle Mayday, the transfer from Cornell. Appeared in the 22 games last season with a record of 6-10 and 10 as a junior. Racking up 46 strikeouts and ending with an ERA of around 3.97. She'll send the first pitch and that's too low for ball one. In the box, leading off for the pride, Becca Valencourt, the DH. She'll send one deep to right field, but that'll shank foul, and we'll do it again. Valencourt having a great season so far at the dish. 357. She'll take strike number two right down Main Street. 
Valancourt selected All-American East second team back in 2022. Season of the pitch and will foul that one off. And she stays alive. Lefty on lefty action here. Mayday wheels and deals. Too low, ball two. <laughs> the 2 2 is sent into deep left field. Going back and gone. Becca Valancourt throws a solo shot to get the pride back in this one. What a shot there. Put solid bat on ball and she's fired up coming down third. The pride gives her a great, great welcome back to the dugout. They're from bat right back into this one. The DH doing exactly what the DH needs to do. Stepping in now, 99, Olivia Malinowski. Catcher would dig in here, left side. Another lefty on lefty battle for Mayday. She'll send the first pitch, and it's in there for a strike. VO1. Too much outside, and the count will run even. Malinowski with an average in the high 200s, 280 to be exact. We'll take another pitch outside. Count three and one now. Malinowski sends one into right field, but that'll shank foul, and we'll do it again. Only one round tripper for Malinowski here, and that came on March 15th against Drexel. The pitch. Swinging bun down the first baseline. First baseman will take it herself, and that's out number one. Stepping in now, number five, Alia Catanzarita, the first baseman. First pitch way outside and too low for ball one. The grad student here, batting 258 on the season. Last game went 0 for 2, looking to put a hit in the column. She'll take a pitch on the black. Count runs even, one and one. The one one. Taken outside for a ball. Two and one now. Mayday wheels and deals. Outside, ball three. Working a nice hitter's count here is Catanzarita. A home run coming off the bat of Valancourt. Brings the pride closer in this one. The 3-1 is sent into shallow right field, and they'll put the squeeze on it for out number two. Up now, steps. Chelsea, Chelsea Villar, the right fielder. The first pitch is shot, hot shot, right to first base. They'll put the squeeze on it, and the Pride are retired. 
the Pride will put up one run on one hit. An inch closer, cut that Stony Brook lead just to one here in the home half of the first. You're watching Hofter Pride Softball, brought to you by Flow Sports. This is where everything starts. It's a place of new beginnings, new opportunities, and a new identity. We are the Coastal Athletic Association, and from the beaches to the city streets, we are united to succeed at an elite level in competition, in our communities, in our lives. This is the tide that lifts us, the fire that burns inside all of us. This is our moment, our new chapter. We are the CAA, and we are united in excellence. In the next 30 seconds, a lot will happen at Hofstra. Small things, big things, weird things. The plan and the not so much. The whoa, the wow, the what? We know ideas have the power to change everything. That's why we work for them. Reach for them. Refine and rebuild. Ideas are always evolving. And so are we. Hofstra University. Back inside Bill Edwards Stadium for the top of the second inning. Ronnie Gonzalez on the call once again. Stepping up now for the Seawolves, number six, Naya Ackerman. The Pride cut the Stony Brook lead down to one following a solo shot from Becca Valancourt. Absell wheels and deals for the first pitch, and that's in there for a strike. Ackerman, the CAA all named to the CAA All Rookie Team last year, and holds the high school record for career hits, career average, and most hits in a season. But she'll take a swing for strike two. Comes up empty. Absol trying to get ahead of hitters early now, following the two run blast, kicks and deals. Too high, ball one. Absell fires. Just too high. Ball two. Count even now. Two balls, two strikes. Ackerman gets set. Absell offers. Swing and a miss. But foul ball. She'll get a piece of it. Down again, 2-2. Two, two. Ackerman stayed alive. Absell offers again. That one is shot to short, scooped up, and fired over to first for out number one. Now batting number 11. Alana Morse scooping that one up, sending it over to first for out number one. Stepping up now. Emily Reinstein, catch, digging in the left side of the box. First pitch is fouled off, strike one. Reinstein starting in 18 out of her 22 appearances last year as a sophomore. Almost doubled her batting average from freshman year. That one's in there for a strike. Now behind 0-2. She'll see at least one more. Absell sends it. Just too far outside. And the count runs 1-2. and two. Absell wheels and deals. A blooper down to the third base line. That's scooped up and fired over to first. Out number two. It's a windy day here at Bill Edwards Stadium. The, the wind blowing in and to the left, so it's no surprise that all these balls are leaving that way. It seems if you get it in the air and the wind takes it, you're almost guaranteed extra bases. Stepping in now for the Seawolves. Brooke Dye, she'll take a big swing at strike one after showing bunt originally.
Shows Bund again, but pulls back. That one's too high. Ball and a strike. Dai rounds out the endurance duo of the Sea Wolf, starting all 56 games last season. She'll take a big swing at that one. The count now, one and two. Pitch, swing and a miss, and Absell puts the finishing touches on this inning with a strikeout. The Sea Wolves go down quietly, no hits, no runs. You're listening to Hofstra Pride Softball on Flow Sports. To buy Cal Chevy of Valley Stream, your trusted family owned dealership deeply rooted in our community. At Buy Cal Chevy, we take immense pride in being part of our community and are dedicated to providing not just an exceptional car buying experience, but also giving back to the neighborhoods we serve. Whether you're looking for a brand new Chevy or a reliable pre-owned vehicle, we're here to serve you. Come and visit us at 709 West Merrick Road, Valley Stream, New York. Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm here to talk about Island Federal Credit Union. And I'm Bob from National Big Bank. Island Federal has been providing personal banking services for over 65 years and donated over a million dollars to Long Island-based charities. Nobody loves Long Island more than National Big Bank. We're fully committed to Patch Out, Hop Out, uh, Wonton, uh, Ronco, Renair. No, okay, no, wait, that's not real. You're messing with me now. Island Federal. You can bank on the power of F. Back for the home half of the second. Trotting in for the pride, Kayla Wilson, the left fielder. Getting her first cuts of this contest. Now batting for the pride, number three, Kayla Sporting a pretty Wilson. impressive average, 271 on the season, five RBIs. Batting. The first pitch, just outside for ball one. Wheels and deals. She'll foul that one off. The count now one and one. Made a sense of the one one. Too high for ball two. Wilson. A three-time NFCA All-American Scholar Athlete. The next pitch. Two. Down there for a strike. Count. It's like Kayla Wilson goes down looking this time. Backwards K for her in her first at bat of this one. Iaquinto digs in now. Second baseman. The first pitch. Too low for ball one. Mayday offers. Big swing for strike one. Next pitch, too low. Ball two. I right, Quinto one for three last game. She'll see the next pitch and take a swing at that one, send it into left field. That gets over the heads of the Sea Wolves. She'll round first and get into second, standing up. Stand up double for Aya Quinto. Following the hot shot to left. Digs in Mackenzie Fitzgerald, the third baseman. Good 
Grove in a pair on April 5th versus NCA and team looking to do the same here. Iaquinto seems to be in motion. The next pitch dribbled to short. Iaquinto will run over to third. Advance to third on the sacrifice. Ground out from Fitzgerald. Alana Morris digs in now, the shortstop. The first pitch is too low for ball one. Morris also on that CAA all rookie team last year. Scored herself a Sports Center top play May 12th, 2023, following an amazing catch in the CAA championship against UNCW. Mayday will have a breather here, have a conversation with Catch. It seems like she's ready to go once again. Morris digging back in. One ball, no strikes. Bit of a conversation going on with the home plate umpire. But it seems we're ready to play. Morris digs in. Mayday wheels and deals. And it's outside for ball two. Swung on and flared into right field. That'll go foul. And we'll do it again. The count now, two and one. One and one, excuse me. Upstairs, too high. Now the count runs, two and one. The next pitch is sent into deep left field. That'll get down for extra bases. She'll get dirty, but she's in there with a double, Alana Morse. Now batting for the pride. Digging in now. Chelsea, Chelsea Manto, the center fielder. We'll call time. Seems the Sea Wolves will try to regroup here. Pride. Well, two out lightning. Runner on in scoring position for Chelsea Manto. Manto batting 274 on the season so far with seven RBIs. No long ball just yet, but she's due for a hit. 0 for 2 last game with two strikeouts. Seems the Sea Wolves got it figured out, and we'll get right back to it. Manto digs in. Left side. Mayday offers. In there for a strike. The 0 1 is dribbled first, and they'll put the tag on her. Hofstra will strand one. Who will score? Two hits. No errors and one runner left on base. We go into the top of the third, tied two to two. Off to the top of the third, tied two two. One run on two hits. You're listening to Hopper Pride Softball on Flow Sports.
tie game here in the top of the third. 2-2. Two, two. The Hofstra Pride tied it up just last inning. With a sacrifice ground out from Mackenzie Fitzgerald. Digging in for the Seawolves now. Melissa Costello, the right fielder. Her first pitch too high for ball one. She shows bunt, so the corners will be coming in. Count 1-0. Absell wheels and deals. Looked like it was too tight, but that's in there for a strike, and the count runs even one and one. The one one. Too low for a ball. The count runs two and one. Two one is swung on, but comes up empty. Two and two now. The two two is offered and sent into left field. Going back, it'll kick around off the wall. And it looks like Estello's in there with a stand up double. And the lineup will flip over. Orozco back in. Second at bat of the game. Orozco part of that endurance duo for the Seawolves. Starting all 56 games last season. She'll show a bunt and drop one down the first baseline. It's a good one. But seems it's called foul. And the runners will retreat. The count now on one. Costello at second. Shows bunt once again and drops one down the first baseline. This one no doubt fair. It'll get the job done moving Costello to third. And Orozco is out with a sacrifice bunt. Now batting, number 20, Kira McFarlane. Kira McFarlane will step in now. Snagged herself a single in her first at bat. Runner in scoring position for McFarlane. Absell sends the first. And it's in there for a strike. The 01 is tipped for strike two. <laughs> Behind in the count now, 0 2. Absil sent to the offering, and it's swung on. Four strike three, Absell with a little Bayou pitch. No batting, number 16, Katherine Kapinski. Katherine Kapinski digging in now for her second at bat of this one. Absell sends the first. And that's in there for strike one. Two out, trying to get herself out of this pinch with a runner in scoring position. Absell sends the 0-1, and that's grounded to first, scooped up and put away. Three unassisted. No runs on one hit. The score remains 2-2. You're watching Hofstra Pride Softball, presented by Flow Sports.
back here for the home half of the third, a tie game still. Hofstra all tied up with the Sea Wolves of Stony Brook 2-2. Becca Valancourt back in the box, hot off of a home run in the first that put Hofstra on the board. She'll take a ball down for ball one. The 1-0 is on the black for strike one. The count now even, ball and strike. Valancourt sees the 1-1 and sends it to shallow right field. That gets down for a base hit. Some sloppy fundies from that of the right fielder for Stony Brook. And Valancourt nets herself the second hit of the game. Now steps up Olivia Malinowski. Grounded out three unassisted last time. Looking to put a hit in her head column today. The first offering is in there for a strike. Malinowski shows bunt. Oscar not afraid to play a little small ball here now that we're all knotted up. The 0 1 is fouled off. Behind the count, 0 2. Monowski will watch one too high and outside for ball one. Valancourt. On first, no outs. The one two is sent foul down the first base line, and we'll do it again. Here comes the one two. Mayday delivers. Just outside for ball two. Here comes the 2-2. Two -two. And Malinowski holds the swing. Ball three, the count runs full. We'll do it again. Three, two, the payoff pitch is fouled off, and Malinowski stays alive. Fallon Court, no doubt, ready to go from first. Here comes the three, two. That's sent right up the middle into center field for a base hit, and the Pride have some ducks on the pond. Runners on first and second. Alia Catanzaria steps in. She flew out to right last time up, but now has runners in scoring position. The OO is fouled off. The count runs 0-1. The 0-1 is too far outside, and the count runs even, a ball and a strike. Mayday sends the 1-1. Just outside once again, two balls and a strike. The 2-1 is fouled off, and we'll do it again. The count now, 2-2. Two and two.
The 2-2. Two -two. Low and outside. Full count now. Tanzarita putting together quite the at-bat with runners on. Here comes the payoff pitch. No outs. Runners on first and second. And she'll dribble it to short. Over to third for one. But that's all they're going to get. As the runner makes it back to second safely. Tanzarita gets the job done. What a sacrifice ground out. Chelsea Villar steps in. Runners on first and second. The yo -O is in there for strike one. Show is bunt. But it's too far outside. A ball and a strike. That one too far outside as well. Two balls, one strike. The 2 1. Outside again. 3 and 1 now for Villar. Reinstein will go out and have a conversation with Mayday, trying to calm the nerves. She retreats. We'll get back to the action. Villar back in the box now. Runners no doubt set to go. The 3-1 is dribbled over the short. But it eats her up a little bit. And everybody will get on safely. The base is now full for the pride. And up steps number 14, the Pride. Gabriella Sultan. She'll take her first cuts here as a pitch hitter. Set to go. Sultan digs in. Bases loaded with one out. The OO. Far too outside for ball one. The 1 0. Is swung on, but she'll come up empty for strike one. One ball, one strike, and one out for the pride here in the bottom of the third. Runners on all bases. Sultan will take strike two. And the one two is swung on for strike three. She comes up empty. The pride. Oh, looks like the last pitch was called incorrectly. So we have a two two count here. Now three two. Uh, 
last call seemed that she held the swing. And she'll send this one into deep right field, but that'll shank foul. And the 3-2 is just too far outside, and that'll walk in a run. The Pride now up 3-2 in the bottom of the third. Quinto. Base is loaded once again. But there would be a pitching change for the Sea Wolves. Out with Mayday and in with number 17, Ashton Milos. Started 25 of her 36 appearances last season, sporting a 9 and 15 record. With an ERA of 397. So far, 19 strikeouts on the on the season out of 50 and two-thirds innings pitched. She'll warm up. Get ready to face Gianna Iaquinto of the Pride. Bases still loaded. One out for the Pride here in the bottom of the third. After that walk, the Pride edge out the Sea Wolves 3-2. All warmed up and ready to go. Now batting number 20, Gianna. Gianna Quinto, Quinto will dig in to face Milos. The opening pitch for the right hander is too high for ball one. The 1-0 is too low for ball two. Iaquinto snagged herself a double last time up and would come around to score. The 2-0 is fouled off. 2-1 now. One from Milos is blooped into shallow right field, and they'll put the squeeze on it for out number one. Runners will all retreat and make it back safely. And now steps up number 36, Mackenzie Fitzgerald. Drove in a pair once again on April 5th against NCANT, and with the bases loaded, you know she's looking to do the same here. The opening pitch is in there for a strike. The 0 1. Too low, and the count runs even. A ball and a strike. Just one out away from getting out of this tough spot for the Sea Wolves is Milos. But she's going to have to go through Mackenzie Fitzgerald first. The 1 1. Too low once again. 2 and 1 is the count now. Yeah. 
Hellman is grounded over the third. And they'll put her foot on the bag for the force. And the inning is over. The Pride will put another run on just ahead of the Sea Wolves. And we'll take it to the top of the first. You're watching Hofstra Pride Softball on Flow Sports. Leadership is not a gift. It's a choice. Decide to lead. Hofstra Hillel means to me family, community, Hip opportunities, people, a home away from home, tradition, connections, religion, friendship. For 75 years, Hofstra Hillel, the Center for Jewish Life on Campus, has been serving the Hofstra community. Thousands of students of all backgrounds have participated in our weekly classes, travel programs, service projects, and holiday celebrations. Especially now, when students need us most, please support Hofstra Hillel. Go to HofstraHillel.org for more information. Back for the top of the fourth here. After Pride lead the Sea Wolves of Stony Brook. 3-2 to two following a bit of a rally. Bases with load and then they'll get a run walked in for them. The pitching change comes in for Stony Brook. Mayday out. Milos in. But Julie Absell has yet to falter. She'll take it over once again the top of the fourth. The 0-0 is swung on for strike one. Corinne Badger will take a hack but come up empty. The 0-1 is grounded over to first, but it'll roll foul. The count 0-2 now. That one is sent into deep right field, but Shanks foul. The Badger will stay alive. We'll do it again. No Absell, wheels and deals. Too far outside. Count now one and two. So working with the lead for the first time in this game. The Pride hoping to hold on to it this time. 1-2 is too high and the count runs even. Two balls, two strikes. That zoom control gets wet. It's going to break. We need a Ziploc bag or a garbage bag or something. The 2-2. Two -two is blooped to the first baseline but rolls foul. And she'll stay alive to do it one more time. Green pulls back. Absell sends it. And that one's flying to shallow left center field. Morse will put the squeeze on it. And that's out, number one. Now batting, number 15, Juliana Sanzoni. Juliana Sanzoni, number 15, the DH steps in. She'll show bunt, but pull back. And take the first pitch too high for a ball. Stepping back in, she awaits the 1-0. Absell delivers. And she'll ground that one over the third. Scooped up and fired over the first. Out number two. Now batting, 
Skate number six, Naya Ackerman. Naya Ackerman steps in with two outs, no runners on. Apsell in the circle. Sends the OO. That's on the black for strike one. What a good pitch. Ackerman grounded out to third. I went to short, excuse me, last at bat. She'll take another strike for strike two now. The next DO2. Way outside for ball one. And Ackerman stays alive. comes the one two way upstairs for ball two and the count runs even two and two the two two is sent foul down the first base line The 2-2 once again. Drilled into left field, but foul. A little screamer off the bat, that one is, but fortunately runs foul for the Sea Wolves. A real battle brewing here, the 2-2 once again. Fouled off again. Ackerman being a real nuisance for Absell here. She put the first two down quite easy. The third one just refuses to go. Absell searching for that put out pitch. She'll wheel and deal. Too high. Ball number three in the count runs full. Tony Brook dug out making some noise. The 3 2 is too high and she'll work a walk. Ackerman gets issued the free pass and the Sea Wolves have a runner on with two outs in the top of the fourth. The catcher, Emily Reinstein, steps in now. with the opportunity to advance a runner. Reinstein grounded out to third her last time up. She'll take the first pitch a little too high for ball one. It seems like Absell is missing upstairs. Maybe. We'll have to dial it down to put these batters away. The 1-0 is fouled off. Count even, a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Again, too high and outside for ball two. Seems a stray ball has made its way onto the field, and they'll call time to clear that. All set now. Back in action. The batter digs in again. Two on the count. Absell wheels and deals. And that one's fouled off. Strike two now.
Absell once again searching for that put out pitch. The Sea Wolves refuse to go down that easy in the fourth. And the 2 2 is swung on for strike three. Absell has to do a little work, but she'll put them all down scoreless, top of the fourth. You're watching Hofstra Pride Softball on Flow Sports. Here for the home half of the fourth. Milos once again now in the circle, taking over for Mayday. Digging in to lead off the fourth. Alana Morse, who snagged herself a double in her first time up. She'll dig in here to face Milos for the first time. The offering. Too low. Ball one. The one out. Too low. Once again, ball two. Hitters count now, the 2-0. It's fouled off, a b two balls and a strike. The 2-1. Milos delivers, and that's fouled off once again. The count even now, two and two. He lost the type of pitcher that can go deep into games, throwing 10 complete games back in 2023. The 2-2 two -two is grounded over to second and fired over the first for out number one. Following the ground out, center fielder Kelsey Manto digs in. The first offering is too high for ball one. Again, Manto, a slap hitter. She's going to be in motion even before making contact. Looking to put just a little bit more pop on the ball if she does put good bat on it. The 1-0. Down for a strike one. The count even, a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Drops a bunt down the first baseline. The speed demon will beat it out. Kelsey Manto doing what she does best. Gets on base. What a nice bunt single. Up next for the pride, number 33, Becca Valancourt. And the DH. Becca Valancourt will dig in once again with a home run and a single on the card today. 
He'll stare down Milos for the first pitch. And that's two outside for ball one. Valancourt having herself a game today. Looking for hit number three. The pitch is fouled deep back for strike one. One ball, one strike, and one out here in the home half of the fourth. And the 1-1 one, one is sent into deep left center field. That's going to get down for extra bases. Valancourt is in with a stand-up double. And Manto will advance all the way to third. It's what you hear it, listen. It's what you hear it, listen. Let's go give it to you. Now that is number nine. 99 digs in now. Olivia Malinowski grabbed herself her first hit of the game last time up with a single. Runners in scoring position. Manto on third. Valancourt on second. And it seems the Sea Wolves will get together and try to talk their way out of this rut. Both teams deliberating now. And they figured out the game plan. Battery returns to the box. Lonowski about ready to dig in. The Seas Wolves get themselves together. And we're ready to play ball once again. Catch is down. Umpire's ready. And here comes the OO. He lost the livers. And will miss for a ball. Malinowski with an opportunity to get some insurance runs for the pride here. Here comes the 1-0. That one's flared to first base. And will be put the squeeze on it for out number two. Runner still on second and third. Now number five, Alia Catanzarita steps in now. Hitless in two tries. A fielder's choice and a fly out to right field. She so see her first pitch of this AB. A a Too low for a ball. He lost one out away from getting out of this dangerous situation. The Pride just a base hit away from getting some insurance. The 1-0 inbound. Too low and too tight for that with that one. And the count now 2-0. In comes the 2-0. That one's fouled off far back. Strike one. Anto waiting to come home. Tanzarita ready to put the ball in play. Time will be called. And Reinstein will have a conversation with Milos over in the circle. Having deliberated, Ryan Seen retreats, and Milas gets set to pitch once again. Fire back now. We play ball. Two on the count with two out runners on second and third. The 2-1. 
is too low. Ball three now. With first open, Milos can afford the walk and have the force at any base. She delivers the 3 1. And that's too high. Ball four. Catanzarita gets issued the free pass, and now the bases are loaded. Four. Number 42, Chelsea Villar. She'll dig in to the right battery box. Here comes the OO. He lost delivers. That one's in there for a strike. 0 oh 1 now. The 0 1 is too high. Count runs even now, ball and a strike. Two out lightning going on for the Pride here. The 1-1. One, one. Outside for ball two. Milos needing an out now. Cannot afford any more runners in motion. The Pride so close to getting some insurance going into the fifth. The 2-1 is fouled off. High and back, watch your heads there in the stands. The count now even, two and two. Milos searching for the put-out pitch. We'll dig around the glove and deliver the two-two. Fouled off once again. Villar putting together quite the at-bat. The runners will retreat. Takes the swing drill before stepping back in. Batter set. Milos delivers the 2-2. Fouled off once again, and we'll do it one other time. are being a bit of a pesky batter here. Staying alive for quite some time. Base is loaded. Two balls, two strikes, and two out. Here comes the pitch. Too tight with that one, and the count runs full. Runners no doubt in motion. Astros dug out, making some noise. The payoff pitch is sent into shallow center field, but will be put, squeezed by the second baseman. The Pride get no runs on two hits and leave three runners on. We'll head to the top of the fifth. You're watching Hofstra Pride Softball, presented by Flow Sports.
top of the fifth now. Julia Absell still out there in the circle. Had to do a bit of work last inning, but put the Sea Wolves away. She'll take it over and get the top of the fifth started here. The Pride lead three to two. And digging in for Stony Brook. Number four, Brooke Dye. She struck out in her last time up. She'll show a bunt and drop one down, but foul. Stony Brook dugout showing some Showing some signs of life, making some noise. The 0 1 is sent by Absol. Show bunt again, drop down. Absol will pick it up herself and fire it over to first for out number one. Again, a little do it yourself action for Absol. Alyssa Costello digging in now for the Sea Wolves. And herself a double last time up. One out here in the top of the fifth. She'll dribble one over to second. Eats her up a little bit, but she put the squeeze on it finally. Just not enough time to throw it. She'll beat that one out. Possibly scored an error. Seems like Costello will bank herself a hit there with a single. Orozco in once again will foul off the first pitch. Tight for ball one. The count now even. The one one. It's too low. Ball two. Two one is swung on. She'll come up empty. Strike number two. The two two now from Absol is dribbled over the third, scooped up and fired over to first for out number two. Costello will advance to second. End up now, steps Kira McFarlane. Grounded out to first. Our last time up. Digs into the left hand box. Costello on second. Absell delivers. She'll dribble that one over to short. And it'll be fired over to first. A good scoop gets her in time. Out number three. Stony Brook, no hit, no runs on one hit. The Pride still lead three to two, going to the home half of the fifth. You're watching Hofstra Pride Softball on Flow Sports. A Valley Stream, a family owned dealership dedicated to providing an exceptional car buying experience. Our knowledgeable and friendly staff are committed to building strong customer relationships and ensuring your needs are met efficiently. We understand that your time is precious, so we've streamlined our process to make your visit efficient and enjoyable. 
Come visit us today at 709 West Merrick Road, Valley Stream, New York. The State Farm Personal Price Plan helps you create an affordable price just for you. Contact local agent James Piscatelli for your personal price plan today. Leading off the home half of the fifth is Kayla Wilson. Went down looking last time around. Number three, Kayla Wilson. Digs in. And the OO is delivered. Too low for ball one. Seems she held the swing in time and affords herself a ball. The follow up delivered and sent into deep left field going foul, but will be caught, and that's out number one. Gianna Iaquinto steps in again. Right hander digs in. And we'll take the first pitch down and away for ball one. One ball, no strikes, and one out here in the home half of the fifth. The Pride still in the lead, 3 2. Three runs of seven hits, no errors. The 1-0 is fouled off into right field. Count now, 1-1. One and one. The 1-1 one, one fouled off again. Quinto seems to make her money on the base path, holds the, her high school record for stolen beat bases. Hasn't gotten, hasn't stole her first yet this season. Looking to get on base, the 1-2 one, is sent into shallow right field, but we'll get the squeeze on it. The wind blows it right back over second base, and she'll be out for round number two. Next up, third cry, number 36. Mackenzie Fitzgerald digging in now. Her first pitch on the black for strike one. One strike, two outs. The 0 1 is sent. And grounded hard to short, and that'll get through for a base hit. Fitzgerald nets herself a single. But to bring up Alana Morse. A double on the ground out here. A runner on with two outs. The first pitch is far too outside for ball one. Here comes the 1-0. Swing and a miss. She comes up empty for strike one. Fitzgerald on first. One ball, one strike, two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. The 1-1 one -one is sent high over to catch, and she'll put the squeeze on it for out number three. The Pride go down quietly with no runs on one hit. We go to the top of the sixth. You're watching Hofstra Pride Softball on Flu Sports.
here in the top of the six. The Hofstra Pride dance team looking to put some energy in the stands for the Pride faithful. Julie Absell gets set in the circle to take on inning at number six. The Pride six outs away from taking, from tying up the series here. Leading off for the Sea Wolves in the top of the sixth. It's number 16, Katherine Kapinski. She'll see her first pitch too tight for ball one. Bride got a runner on last inning with two outs, but just couldn't put things together to get her home. The next pitch is too high as well. The count now 2-0. Oh. <laughs> a close game here. The Seawolves are no way out. And Kapinski fouls off strike one. No way, no way, no way, shape, or form out of this game. 3-2 with the pride in the lead. But down to their final six outs. Every at-bat counts even more now. Absell fires the 2-1, and that's sent over to short. And she'll put squeeze on it herself. A little line out short. Out number one. Number 28, Corinne Badger, up next for the season. Corinne Badger steps it now. She has a home run. If we flash you back to the first inning. Two run homer for Badger. She'll take the first pitch way outside for ball one. Absell gets the sign and delivers. Too high. Ball number two. Absell steadies herself and delivers the 2-0. That one's dribbled down the third baseline, but foul. One is sent over the short. Diving stop by Morse. And the throw is in time. Out number two. What an incredible play from Morris. Lays out, puts her body on the line for out number two. Now number 15, That'll bring up number 15, Juliana Sanzone. She'll take the first pitch high and tight for ball one. Showing bunt here, pulls back. And takes the next pitch, a little too outside for ball two. The obligatory swing drill before stepping back in the box. Bunt once more. Absell wheels and deals. Will look to be too tight. Is on the black for strike one. Two and one the count now. Two balls, one strike with two outs. Here in the top of the sixth. Sends down. Showing bunt once again. Pull back. And take that one way outside. Ball three. Hitters count now. Should have the 3-1 green light with the Sea Wolves trying to claw back in this one. Only down by one run, but down to their final four outs. The 3-1 is too tight, and Sandzone will work the walk. Okay, six, Naya, Ackerman. Naya Ackerman steps up now with a runner on. 
Tying run is on base. And so the Pride will deliberate. Doesn't seem to be anything doing in the Pride bullpen, so it seems that Absil will keep the con. As Ackerman raises herself, while the Pride take a moment to talk it out. Sandone stands on first, having worked a walk. And we're all set to go. Everyone retreats back into position. And Ackerman retakes the box. Absol. Looking to throw a few strikes here. Steps back into the circle. Digs around the glove a little bit and sends the OO. Just outside for ball one. The 1-0 is fouled off and the count runs even, 1-1. One one. <laughs> Absol with the 1-1. One one. The delivery. Fouled off once again. 1-2 now. To send us to the bottom of the sixth. A little too high. Ball two now. The count even. Two and two. Sand zone on first. Two balls, two strikes, and two out. The 2-2 two -two once again. That, eat, that gets in and hits her. Runners on first and second now. Now batting, number 11, Emily Reinstein. And that will bring up the catcher, number 11, Emily Reinstein. The Sea Wolves with something in the works here. The Pride looking for just one more out to get out of this tough spot. Their lead, very slim, only up by one, three, two, Pride. Stepping up for the Sea Wolves, a pinch Sea hitter, number two, Sophia Chambers. Number two, Sophia Chambers. <laughs> She'll face Absel for the first time today. And dribble one over to short. Morse will take, get a hold of it and bring it over to second herself. And the Pride get out of a tough spot. No runs on a few walks here for the Sea Wolves, and the Pride still lead at three to two. Down to the, to the home half of the six. You're watching Hofstra Pride softball on Flow Sports. Welcome to buy Cal Chevy of Valley Stream, your trusted, family-owned dealership, deeply rooted in our community. At Bike House Chevy, we take immense pride in being part of our community and are dedicated to providing not just an exceptional car buying experience, but also giving back to the neighborhoods we serve. Whether you're looking for a brand new Chevy or a reliable pre-owned vehicle, we're here to serve you. Come and visit us at 709 West Merrick Road, Valley Stream, New York. Transfer to Hofstra University for a dynamic college experience. Shape your own educational and career path by choosing from over 165 undergraduate programs in a variety of disciplines. Connect with the world through experiential learning, including internship opportunities in nearby Manhattan. Work in cutting edge facilities and research labs. Attend a virtual transfer event to find out how you can be part of the Hofstra Pride.
back in Bill Edwards Stadium for the home half of the six. The Pride leading 3-2, looking to get some insurance runs going into the seventh. Chelsea Manto digs in once again. Having singled in her last time up, Manto digs in to the left side box, shows bunt, but drops it foul. Strike one. Milos looking to keep the pride scoreless this inning and give the Seawolves a chance. And who awaits the 0-1. The delivery. Too tight. Ball one. The 1-1 one, one delivered. Too low. Ball. The count now. 2-1. Swing drill before re-entry. Manto digs back in. Milos digs around the glove and delivers the 2-1. She'll pop a bunt and that'll get down. Manto does it again. In there with a single. So now bring up the ever dangerous DH Becca Valancourt, who is a triple shy of the cycle today. Having a home run in the first, a single in the second, and a double in the fourth. She's looking for the elusive three bagger. The first pitch is on the black for strike one. The 0-1, a little too high and a little too tight for ball one. The 1-1 pitch is delivered by Milos and sent into deep right field, but they get a hold of it and on court is sent packing to the bench for the first time today. Up next for the crowd, Which will bring in Olivia, Olivia Malinowski. She'll dig in with Manto on first. The first pitch outside for ball one. <laughs> Only one out here in the home half of the sixth. Milaz digs around the glove and delivers the 1-0. Drops a bunt down the third baseline. It's a good one, but she just can't beat it out. Manto will advance to second, however. Digging in now, Leah Tanzarita. Oh, for two with a walk so far. Up next for the pride, number five, Alia Tanzarita. Manto in scoring position. A single will do the trick. That ball too far outside. Ball one. Pride looking for just a little bit of insurance heading in to the top of the seventh. We'll have to hold the Wolves at bay. The 1-0. 
is fouled off. Watch your head there in the stands. The count now even, one and one. Mantoet second, the one one. Delivered and too high, ball two. The two one, way too outside, ball three. Hitters count now, three and one, no doubt has the green light. Runner in scoring position with two outs. Manto will be in Manto will be in motion no matter what. That ball is scorched to short, but scooped up and fired over to first for out number three. No insurance on one hit. The Pride still lead 3-2, going to the top of the seventh. You're watching Hofstra Pride Softball on Flow Sports. Here in the top of the seventh, Hofstra Pride lead the, lead the Sea Wolves of Stony Book three to two. Julia Absell still in the circle, three outs away from having a complete game and tying up this series here. Rook Dye leading off the Sea Wolves with their on their final three outs. Digs in, facing Absil. The dugout making some noise. The first pitch is grounded over to short. Morse on her knees again, makes the play, but it's just not in time. Brooke Dye beats out the throw. A bang, bang play, no doubt. And Morse did all she could there. Sliding stop. Strong throw, but Brook Dye just a little too speedy. It seems the umpires will have a conversation about the play. We all wait in anticipation. A close game like this. And the call remains safe. Great effort from both sides. It seems Brooke Dye will get a courtesy runner. Number 18. Eighteen Madeline Stepsky. Will take over the first base duties for Brooke Dye. The slide took a little bit, took a little bit off her, and seems she'll have a rest. Stepping in now, Alyssa Costello, for the Sea Wolves, runner on, no outs. Absell delivers. That one is fouled into left field. Runner retreats back to first. No ball and a strike. Okay. 
Stella digs back in. And in comes Absol. Set to deliver. Here comes the 0-1. That one's fouled. She'll get a piece of it. Strike two. Winning on deck, Alicia Orozco. The 0 2. Just a little bit too far out, but it seems like a pitch out, nothing doing. Ball, ball and two strikes now. Smoked into right field, and it eats up the fielder a little bit. Base hit for Costello. Runners on first and second now. The Sea Wolves with something in the works. No outs. Absol and the Pride looking to steady themselves here. Malinowski heads over to the circle. Try to calm the nerves of Absol. You're really similar to the situation yesterday. The Pride working with a lead for a majority of the game. Takes it to the seventh, and it just falls through their fingers. Runners on first and second for the Sea Wolves, and nobody out. The Pride need to dig deep and find that clutch factor, the ice in their veins, to put this one away and tie up the series. The Sea Wolves dug out making some noise. They're showing signs of life. Seems the Pride get themselves together. Abcel steadies herself. And in steps Alicia Orozco. Runner is on first and second. No outs. The Pride leading by only one run here in the top of the seventh. The OO -O. drops a bunt, but it'll go foul. Strike one. Yo one drops a bunt once again. This one stays. This one gets called foul as well. Orozco trying to play some small ball here. Move the runners over and possibly load the bases. Yo two. Is in there for strike three, and Absell gets a very much needed out number one. Kira McFarland stepping in now, following the strikeout. Orozco took a look at that one. It just wasn't one you needed to take a look at. The OO. Is fouled far back. Watch your heads there in the stands. One strike, one out. Runners on first and second. Absell steps up. Wheels and deals. Drops the bunt. This one's a fair ball. Nope, they'll call it foul once again. Looked like a fair ball, but Blue says no. They'll come in to talk about it. The runner reached before any play was made. And looks like they'll call her safe. 
So now the base is loaded for number 16, Catherine Kapinski. Hitless in this contest so far, but if there was ever a time, it'd be right now. Absell with one out. Empires will come and deliberate once more. The possibility of the call being overturned. The runner reached before any play was made, but the bunt was in front of the box and rolled and ended up hitting the bat of the runner as well. Pride Faithful wait in anticipation as this can change the course of the game so far. Umpire is getting back in position, but no call just yet. We have yet to resume play. Stony Brook is dug out alive as ever. Stop for Faithful hold their breath and wait for the call. The call will remain. Bases loaded for the Sea Wolves. In this situation gets just that much more interesting. The plot thickens, ladies and gentlemen. In steps Corinne Dadger. Oh, excuse me now. Catherine Kapinski in the box now. She'll take strike one. Absol delivers. Too high. One ball, one strike, one out. Here in a one run game. Absol delivers. That one's flared into right field. Our runner's going to score. Make it two for the Sea Wolves. Two runs come in for the Sea Wolves, and they now lead 4-3. We have a brand new ball game. And following the RBI single from Katherine Kapinski, who was hitless up until this point, steps up Corinne Badger, the ever dangerous. If we flash you back to the first inning, she's responsible for the two runs scored there with the long ball. Absell now looking to get out of this inning without for any further damage and give the Pride a shot. In there for strike one. Runners on first and second. A little bit too outside, ball one. Oh, no, not the first 
The next pitch hits away from her a little bit. Two and one. That one's flared deep center field, chasing Manto back, but she'll put the squeeze on it and get it in quick. The play at third, not in time. Two outs now. Four Absell here in the top of the seventh. Juliana Sanzoni steps in now. Sanzoni will get the game plan from the third base coach before stepping into the box. Runners in scoring position, second and third. The obligatory swing drill beforehand. She now steps in to face Absell. One out away from getting out of the inning without any further damage. A one-run game in favor of the Seawolves now. She shows bunt. Oh, we'll pull back. And take the first pitch for a strike. The 0 1. Absell delivers. Too high, too tight. Ball one. One one. Too high. Ball two. The two one delivered now. In there for a strike. Down to her last strike of the inning. Absell possibly out of the woods. The 2-2. Two -two. Too high and the count runs full. The wind picking up once again. The payoff pitch to get out of the inning. Absell fires. And that's looped over third base. And what a catch. Mackenzie Fitzgerald with a fantastic catch over, third, over at third base to get Absell out of the inning. The Sea Wolves take the lead 4-3 after an RBI single. We go to the bottom of the seventh. You're watching Hofter Pride Softball on Fellow Sports. Bring color to life with the very best paint, only at Sherwin-Williams. Leadership is not a gift. It's a choice. Decide to lead. Brooklyn Dip and Burger is open for takeout and delivery. Call the store and check us out on Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub. We are here for you, and you can rely on Brooklyn Dip and Burger, providing great food safely. 516-222-8000. Back in Bill Edwards Stadium for the home half of the seventh. The Pride, now down by one after leading a majority of the game finds themselves in a sticky situation. Chelsea Villar leads off for the home half of the seventh. 
The Pride have showed off the defense. They flashed the leather, leather time and time again. Alana Morse and Mackenzie Fitzgerald, but now it comes down to the offense. The first pitch from Tuvalar is taken for strike one. Yo one too high and the count runs even. You can feel the tension in the stadium. Every at bat, every pitch matters in such a close game. The one one. Looks a bit outside, but is called for strike two. Vlar now needing to battle back down in the count. The one two. Too low, and the count runs even once again. Two and two. The two two. Sent and drilled into shallow right field, but it'll be caught. One out for the pride. Up steps number three, Kayla Wilson. Kayla Wilson sees the, her first pitch of this AB. Takes a big swing but comes up empty, strike number one. Not needing to do too much. The Pride simply need to put the ball in play. The 0-1 is fouled off. Strike number two. The 0-2 from Milos. Delivered in the dirt for ball one. Wilson stays alive. The count now one and two. The one two. Drilled into center field, but what a catch! A liner into center field, but Catherine Kapinski is all over it. What a catch. Excuse me, Alicia Orozco running in on that one. Making a play to save a base hit. Pride now down to their final batter, Gianna Iaquinto. Again, Alicia Orozco making that play in center field. Excuse me. Gianna Iaquinto with two outs, down by one. Takes a swing at the first pitch and pops it up to first base, but it's dropped. It's dropped and she'll be safe. A fortunate turn of events, a stroke of luck, if you will, for the Pride, and they stay alive to see another AB. Scored an E3, Iaquinto is safe. And that brings up Mackenzie Fitzgerald. Made a great play at third to get Absell out of that inning with only one run scored. Now comes down to her with a runner on. The tying run on base. Mackenzie Fitzgerald digs in to face 
Milos. The home half of the seventh inning. The Sea Wolves up by one. Ayaquinto set at first, ready to be in motion. Fitzgerald will take a big hack at the first pitch, but foul it off for strike one. In a situation eerily similar to last afternoon's game, the Pride lead, but falter late in the game and have to battle back. The 0 1 is way too high, and the count runs even 1 and 1. Ayaquinto will most likely be in motion here. Way outside with that one ball, too. You can hear the Pride Faithful acting, asking for the same. Two and one now. The delivery. Just outside. Three one now. And the Pride have something cooking. Gerald awaits oh, the 3-1, the delivery. Alwyn's sent high over to the first baseline, and the Seawolves put the squeeze on it to put this game away. A fortuitous RBI single nets them the lead in the seventh inning and puts the pride to bed in this series. They will play again tomorrow with the Sea Wolves taking two out of the three. It, that is all she wrote, folks. A tough, tough loss for the pride once again, eerily similar to the game just yesterday afternoon. The leather was flashed, the defense was fantastic, and the offense was in no way, shape, or form asleep, but again, the Pride just could not find the clutch gene to put the game away. The final score, 4-3. to three. The Stony Brook Sea Wolves score four runs on six hits with two errors and just outstretched the Pride's three. For myself and everybody here, we appreciate you watching. We hope you have a great rest of your day. This has been Hofstra Pride Softball, presented to you by Flow Sports.